How you doing today, guys? Here we are. We're at my wood shop again. So, hopefully you like these. I'm going to keep doing them. So, just a little bit of a warning. So, what we're going to do is, you can see I have this bandsaw over here. And at from some of my other videos, you can see that I uh, got some parts for them. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start doing the upgrades for them. So, hopefully you like it. Maybe you learned something. So, let's get right into it. First thing we're going to be doing today is we're going to be replacing the guide blocks. Which, in this case, is... Hopefully you guys can see. Okay, I'm trying my best here. Tight quarters. Guide blocks. Let me get this undone. These are the guide blocks. So, as you can see, they definitely have wear to them. And I didn't order new ones because of the wear. I ordered new ones because these are steel. And the steel ones kind of, you know, generate heat. So, I got something a little bit better than that. So, I will give you a little look at that, which I think I already did in another video, which was these, the Olsen Cool Blocks. And these are graphite. So, it's real easy. It's like any other package you have. You just pop them open. And there's our guide blocks. So, what we're going to do is we're going to replace these. As you can see, they fit right in like the other ones do. They're almost universal for almost every bandsaw. So I'm going to take this one out also. I will keep them just in case I, I get a snag, one of them break. So we'll sit them over there. And the other thing we want to make sure we do is get those holes right in here. We want to make sure we get them all cleaned out so that we have a nice area that was probably extremely loud for you guys. A nice area that's going to uh, sit well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these little thumb screws all the way out. There we go. And I'm going to make sure I get the threads cleaned out. The threads on the inside look good. So, I mean, nothing major. Just the... Uh, a little upgrade clean out the threads a little bit I'm going to take a look at them inspect them you can see I have a little ding there but not horrible so I can live with that so in the future I might actually make new sets but for right now these these will work once again it's a free bandsaw so here we go take this Put it in. Now I'm definitely going to have to readjust these later because I have a new bandsaw blade too. I actually have a bunch of new um, parts for this bandsaw. But I mean if you get one that's free, I mean, why not put a little bit of money into it? I mean at this point I think I'm like $80 into a bandsaw. So I mean where can you get a good working bandsaw for 80 bucks so now we're going to take our other one just drop that in there and for right now I'm just you know pushing it against the blade that is definitely not the right way to do it but like I said, I have a new blade, so. All right, so there we go. That's how we replace our cool blocks. In this case, cool blocks. So as you can see, I have two sets. And the reasoning for that is we have another set down here at the bottom. But what I'm going to have to do is take off the table that you're sitting on so when I get that table off, I'll bring you back to show you how we replace those bottom ones. So see you in a second, guys. 
All right, so as you can see, I have the table off. Now we have this little guard here. All right, so I'm going to take this off. And as you can see, this is definitely a seen better days. You can see that we have the guide bearing in the back. It's the same assembly up top, just reversed. Um, so what we're gonna do is same thing. I'm going to loosen these up. And we pull out the blocks. You can see these are, or at least I, I hope you can. You can see how these are so uneven. These aren't even remotely straight. So it's a good thing I'm replacing these. And I'm just going to push over on the bandsaw blade to push this other one out. But that doesn't seem like enough. So I'm just going to reach in here with something pointy. So I can work this one out and same thing with this one you can see the face uh, I don't know if you can but you can see that face how it's just so ground down it they're destroyed so got to clean up this area also so same thing with the top we're just going to put this push in I'm going to get it almost to the blade You know, once I do all the final adjustments, all this will fall into place. But right now, it's just a quick install video of guide blocks. So, that's how we put guide blocks in. You can see the blade is a lot more rigid. <laughs> rigid, no pun intended. And that's a good thing with the graphite ones. They don't heat up and they don't, um, if you have them a little tight, they'll kind of wear into the blade that you have. So there you go. Our guide blocks are in. And as you can see right down there, we have our two guide blocks in there. And that also looks the same way as those two right up there so guys as you can see guide blocks real easy simple process all band saws are different but in my case this one was really simple so it's going to extend the life of my blade it's going to extend the um they're a lot cheaper so it's going to extend my my dollars rather than putting steel ones in creating heat burning up my blades and you know, they wear a little bit easier, but they're going to be a much better wear and a more even wear. So, guys, hopefully you like this. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, guys, get in your shop. Keep making stuff. Have a nice one. See you next time.